Hey guys, last day of Holiday Club. It's a real shame, but it's been fun so far and today's gonna to be just as much fun. What did you have for breakfast today? I wonder, for me, I had a bowl of cornflakes and then I had a bagel and it filled me up, but that wouldn't feed a lot of people, would it? But in today's story, we're gonna hear about a time where a small boy just had some loaves and some fish and that was shared amongst thousands of people who were all fed. So come back in a bit for the story. We're gonna go and crack on with some of the songs. So I'll see you after the songs uh, to tell you the story about the loaves and the fishes. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.
Hi guys. Today's story is another story of Jesus and the miracles and the amazing things he did. This time we hear that Jesus was out on a fishing boat speaking to a crowd of people and he needed to just get away. He was, he was tired. So they sailed across a lake, Jesus and his disciples, and they went up on a mountainside and Jesus was resting there. But then he looked down the hillside and there was a big crowd of people coming towards him, thousands of people, thousands and thousands of people, not one or two. And all these people were walking up the hillside. Why were they doing that? They wanted to hear about Jesus. In the same way as we found out at the start of the week that the children wanted to see Jesus because he was amazing, these people all wanted to see him. Now the day was getting on, it was getting into the afternoon and Jesus was there talking to these people, telling them stories and they were amazed with all the things he was telling them. And then he realised that a lot of them looked a bit hungry. Now, it wasn't like Dronfield, they couldn't just nip to Sainsbury's or Aldi and get some food. They were in the middle of nowhere, up a hillside. But there was one boy. So Jesus said to his disciples, go and find what food we've got. And they went into the crowd and they found one boy. And he had five bread rolls and two little fish. Probably enough food for him. But that was all they could find. So Jesus said to his disciples, it'll do. Go and give it out to everybody in the crowd. And his disciples must have gone, Jesus, are you, are you, are you sure? That's not going to work. But they probably knew in the back of their minds because they'd seen him do miracles that he had a plan and it was going to work out in the end. So off they went around the crowd, breaking off bits of bread and breaking off bits of fish and giving them to people. And to their amazement, there was enough food for everybody to eat. Nobody was hungry. And they went round at the end and they collected more in them, they'd given out. They were amazed, going, Jesus, how did you do it? And Jesus just said, well, the people needed it, so I provided it for them. And that's all about Jesus. If, if we need stuff, Jesus wants to provide it for us. But equally, and as importantly, we learn that Jesus has always got a plan. And whatever we've got to give to Jesus is always enough. And what do I mean by that? Do I mean giving Jesus money? No, not really. A little bit, maybe when you're growing up and adults, maybe. But, but it's Jesus is happy with the amount of love we give him. If you want to say, Jesus, I love you, he's really pleased with that. And he doesn't go, oh, I need more, more, more. He'd love more, but he doesn't need us. What would need us to? All we've got to give Jesus, it will be enough for him. And this story just goes to show that Jesus, again, loves everybody. He was concerned for these people and them eating and that they were hungry. And he arranged, therefore, that they went and had enough food to eat. So as we get to the end of this holiday club, hopefully you guys have learned more about Jesus. You've learned some stories about him. And he's an amazing man and he's changed my life totally. And what do we do at church? Well, at church, we learn about Jesus. And we learn about all the amazing things he's done and why he did those things. And we also learn about what happens at Easter when Jesus died. And we learn about why Jesus died, because he died for a really important person. And that person's you. And I'd love to tell you more about why Jesus loves you. But not just you, your brothers and your sisters, your mum and your dad, your aunties, your uncles, your neighbours, your grannies, your grandpas. He loves everyone and he loves us all the same. And I'd love to talk to you more about that. So maybe when we're back in school in September, come along to church on a Sunday morning or come and join in some of the groups that we do. I hope I'll see you guys soon. It's been brilliant having you with us this week. We've got some activities and other craft and some songs, and then that'll be it for this year's Holiday Club. So thank you for coming along. Thank you for getting involved. Thank you for giving me feedback. It's been great hearing from you over this summer holiday so far. And uh, I hope to see you all, all soon. So keep well and keep safe. Bye.
sunshine is got the for me oh, oh wherever i go god is with me every day when i wake up he's with me every day when i play god is with me every day when i obey he's with me every day when i sing so i never have to be afraid god is with me yeah. when i'm super sad and grumpy or i'm happy as can be jesus is my best friend he's always there for me oh. It's got the for me you guys had fun is your brochure completely full hopefully you've got to the end of your brochure and you'll see there's a page there all about us maybe getting together for a barbecue show that to your mum or your dad or whoever you live with so hopefully you'll be able to come along i'll let you know if it's definitely on closer to the time but also hopefully you'll see there's a load of sheets with different things that we do yeah we do this summer holiday club every year but we do stuff throughout the year guys we have amazing time at christmas we do messy church every month we do hope and light every week we do j2 and we do jolt and loads of other activities so jump onto the dromfield baptist church website it'd be great to see you not just a holiday not club not just virtually but throughout the year we've got loads of going on there's loads of families we have a lot of fun and it's a great church so please do come along and find out more I really hope you've enjoyed Holiday Club and I know it hasn't been like it usually is. I've really missed doing the silly games. I've missed having bags of sweets, throwing them at you and all that fun. But hopefully next summer we'll be able to do that. We're thinking already about having a jungle theme. So get thinking, could you get a gorilla costume or anything like that? What could you do for next year? But hopefully it won't be next summer before we see you. Hopefully we'll see you uh, before Christmas and if not before Christmas we'll see you for our messy nativity or things like that so goodbye keep well keep safe and I'll see you guys soon thanks for joining us bye <laughs>